Hello crafty friends, it's Call Me Crafty Owl here on the Not Too Shabby channel to share some more inspiration using the August Box of the Month kit. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the Not Too Shabby channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. There's a whole team of artists who share their creations here, and I know that you'll love it. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. Today I'm going to be making two clear cards using pattern papers, stamps, and ephemera from the Not Too Shabby Artsy Girls box. Now if you haven't yet snagged this up, there are a few more kits and a few more days for you to do that. I will have the kit linked in the description box below if you want to check that out. The items that I'll be using from the kit are two pieces of pattern paper from that 6x6 artsy gals pad and then I will be using these two pink pieces from the slimline paper pad for some matting. For my sentiment I'm going to use You Color My World from the Color My World stamp set and I already pre-chose some ephemera from just one of the three ephemera packages that you get this month. As I add anything else later on in the video I will be sure to let you know but if I ever leave you with any questions you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! For my layout today I'm going to use the sketch from the August 2021 sheet load of cards and cut down the four pieces of paper from the not too shabby kit. Now I will show you how I cut down those pieces but if you would like the dimensions I can link the video below where you can download that printable. Once I had the pattern papers cut down I brought in the slimline paper and I cut this down so when the final size was done it would be a nice mat around all four of the pieces that I just cut. Because the front of the card is clear, I want an area inside where I can write my personal message and not have it be seen from the front. So I brought in a piece of white cardstock and I cut this into cards that when they're folded, they are three inches wide by four inches tall. And this is the same size as one of the mats that I cut for the front of the card. Once those inner cards were done, I brought in a single piece of clear cardstock and I cut and folded that in half so I would yield two card bases. For the sentiments, I used a couple scraps of white cardstock along with some black ink and the You Color My World sentiment. Once those were stamped, I took them off camera to cut out with a fishtail banner die and also off camera, I cut two vellum ovals and embossed that with kind of a sprinkles embossing folder. Now that all of the pieces were ready, I could start putting my cards together. For the inside, I placed a smaller piece of pink paper onto the front of the small cards and then I matted the little artist girl's paper with those skinnier strips. Both of those pieces will go on the inside of the card and then on the front, I'll put the second piece of pattern paper along with the vellum oval and some ephemera, but you'll see me do that later. Now while I'm putting the cards together, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or question of the video. This is just something fun I like to do over on my channel to get to know a little bit more about you and share a little bit more about myself. Today's question is, have you ever created a clear card? I would love to know if you have or if you haven't and you can leave that answer in the comment section below. For myself, clear cards are one of my favorite things to make, and over on my channel I actually have an entire playlist dedicated to them. I also enjoy making cards with vellum card bases as well. Now it's time to add the ephemera to my card fronts. 
I will be placing three pieces of ephemera on each one and you'll see that I took a little time to lay the ephemera out like I wanted it and then I brought in a small piece of press and seal to pick that up temporarily so that the items would be where I wanted them on the final card. Once I pulled those off the card, I added adhesive to the back and then used the press and seal once again to place it onto the card front. Once those were in place, I then brought in a bottle of liquid glue just to tack down any areas that were still going to kind of peel up from the ephemera. I used the same process to place the ephemera on the second card and then to get my sentiment on there, I brought in some skinny foam tape and added a strip to the back of each of the sentiments. Now clear cards, because they are see-through, you do get a lot of layers without adding dimension, but I did want to still go ahead and pop up that sentiment. Once those were both in place, I wanted to add some embellishments, so I brought in the enamel dots from the kit, and I added three of the purple ones to each of the clear cards. Some were on the inside, and some were on the front of the card. And here's a look at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's two clear cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.